Hello, everyone. My name is Omar Awan. I'm a professor and associate vice chair of education at the University of Maryland School of Medicine. I want to talk today a little bit about the monovalent versus the bivalent COVID vaccines that demystify some of the confusion and the differences between these two things. So what do we mean exactly when we talk about a monovalent versus a bivalent vaccine? And it's exactly like its name implies, mono for one, right? So a monovalent vaccine combats one strain of the COVID virus, usually the original strain that was isolated in 2019 in Wuhan, China. This is the vaccine that if we got vaccinated, you know, the, what, the two shots, three shots, four shots, whatever it was, this was a monovalent vaccine. A bivalent vaccine, like its name, bi for two, it combats two strains of the virus, right? The original strain that combated the initial strain that was isolated in Wuhan, China, but also the newer Omicron subvariants, BA4 and BA5. So it's combating both of those strains, a bivalent vaccine booster. So who can get this bivalent booster? Well, there's two bivalent boosters available, the Pfizer and the Moderna. And the Pfizer is available for anyone that's 12 years of age or older. And the Moderna is available for anyone that's 18 years of age or older. So what's the time frame in terms of when you can get the booster, right? So if you received a primary vaccination, meaning you got the initial monovalent vaccine, you know, the two shots for most of us that were separated by three or four weeks, you need to wait two months before you get the bivalent booster. If you even got boosted, let's say you got a third shot or a fourth shot as a booster with a monovalent vaccine, you still need to wait two months. So the bottom line is, if you got any monovalent vaccine, you need to wait two months before getting the bivalent booster. How about if you had a COVID infection? Let's say you recently tested positive for COVID-19. When can you get the bivalent booster? Well, there's actually no specific timeline uh, that's recommended by the CDC, but many public health experts recommend waiting at least a month before you get the bivalent booster. This will help maximize the amount of antibodies that your body will form against COVID-19 in the various strains. So why do we have a bivalent booster? What's the reason for doing this when we already had a monovalent uh, vaccine and a booster? Well, it's to combat the different strains. Remember, COVID-19 has many strains. We had a Delta variant. Now we have an Omicron variant. And this one is targeting the Omicron BA4 and BA5. And these are the most common strains that are resulting in severe illness and hospitalizations in the United States of America. So then the question becomes, well, if I get this, am I never going to get a COVID infection? Am I never going to test positive? The answer is no. You may still test positive, but the likelihood of you getting severe illness, dying, or being hospitalized will be very slim, right? So the beauty of this bivalent booster is really to protect against severe illness and hospitalization. And remember, COVID is a very virulent, right? Like it's a respiratory virus. It can spread through the air. It can last in air for up to two, three hours. So the possibility of getting infected again is still real and still possible. So I think the bottom line is to get this bivalent booster if you're able to do so, right? It'll protect you from uh, hospitalization, severe illness. Remember that there's two different types, the Pfizer and the Moderna. They both combat two strains of the virus. You need to be 12 years old to get the Pfizer, 18 years old to get the Moderna. Uh, you need to wait two months if you've gotten any monovalent vaccine before you get the bivalent booster. And a common question we get is, is that, well, if you got the flu shot or if you're getting the flu shot, can you also get the bivalent booster? And the answer is yes, you can get it the same day at the same time, right? So, you know, getting the flu shot shouldn't delay your choice to get the bivalent booster. Many experts recommend getting, you know, the bivalent booster on one arm and maybe the flu shot on the other arm, right? And that's a way that you can hopefully do it. Thank you so much for your attention. I hope this informs your decision on whether you want to get the bivalent booster. Please support our mission and subscribe to the MedED page channel and support our mission in passing free knowledge to the world worldwide. Thank you so much for your attention.